Hey guys, it's Michelle, and the dog looks like she's laying herself in. Yes, she is. I'm gonna do a quick outfit of the day. Me and my brother are actually running out to go get some coffee. Um, even though I brewed coffee, but we want iced coffee. Yeah, complicated, is it not? Anyway, um, I didn't really do too much as far as foundation-wise because I got bit by a buggy, and it left like this nasty, I don't know if I'm like allergic to it or whatnot, but it like left nastiness. So all I did, was a line of this silver liner. It's made by High Intensity Pigment. I forget the actual name of it, but it's incredible. And then a little bit of mascara, which is Scandalash. It's the purple one. I think it's Maybelline. I'm not positive. And a Revlon lip butter. And then I'm wearing that new, um, from Scrunchies, my headband thing with a little peacock feather, because I thought it kind of went with the outfit somehow. But now that I'm thinking about it, I look at one of those pure burlesque dancer things with it on. I don't know. Anyway, I thought it was cool anyway. So back to the goods, right? Um, because it's, the dress is a bit much on its own because all it really is, I'll show you, we're going to turn around again. Um, it's just a tie neck. It's kind of, I guess you could say it's scandalous, perhaps, but um, I really don't feel like showing all the goods today. You know what I mean? Not that I feel like showing all the goods on a normal day. But anyway, um, I'm wearing, I got this from Victoria's Secret. It says, I love pink and it's all sequinty. You can see that um, because I could. And on the front has this little sequint dog. I love the blinged out ones. I know they're like $80 a piece, but I always seem to go towards those. So I'll buy one of those, wear the crap out of it, wait, buy another one. And that's typically how it goes. Then the dress, um, as you can see, it's very figure hugging, as you can tell, but I really love the pattern on the dress. I got this, I don't know if any of you guys remember the Rave. It was a store, I don't even know if it still exists, I haven't seen it in a long time. Um, but yeah, I got this from the Rave for like $10 a long time ago, like about 10 years ago, very easily 10 years ago. and. I've had it ever since. So I'm gonna try to make it stationary so we can get a better look at the outfit. And up, oh, whoa, and I'm, as I'm moving things around a little bit, like so, so that we could try to do this a little bit better. And I don't think you wanna see, I bought toilet paper yesterday, I don't think you wanna see that in the shop, do you? Anyway, so like I said, this I got from Victoria's Secret, it says love pink on it. And it's like one of my go-tos. I always have a hoodie around typically Victoria's Secrets, but you know, and like I said, this dress I got so long ago, but I love the pattern on it. As you can tell, it's got this like hibiscus flower at the time. I think they're still a popular thing, hibiscus flower printed stuff. I think PacSun does a lot of that. Um, but at the time that's all, anything that was summer at that point had hibiscus flowers on it. And at, the, at that point, I was actually kind of getting sick of hibiscus flowers, but for some reason the dress appealed to me and the price was right. I actually think I got it on clearance on top of it. So, you know. And then these, because it's just me and my brother, these are really disgusting old Playboy flip-flops. I've had them forever. I think I got these from um, Burlington Co. Factory like for five bucks or something. And they have glitter on them. And I can't, I have tried bleaching these things and stuff like that, but they still have it, a foot imprint on them. But you can't see it when I'm wearing them because my foot's in them. All you can see is some of the bunnies around my toes. So, you know, it's cute, I like it. And all the colors kind of match in together. And that's kind of why I wore the hoodie with it. Um, Cause like I said, we're just going to town. And honestly, me dressed like this, this is not how the, a lot of the local girls dress. It's typically sweatpants, and I'm not talking like cute, like Victoria's Secret types. I'm talking Betty Boop covered ones. Now there's anything wrong with that, but I just like, you know, make an effort if you're going out in public, you know what I mean? Um, we, we've talked about this before, I digress. Anyway, so that's why I kind of put the hoodie on on top of it, just to kind of make it a little, I don't know, I don't want to say sophisticated, but a little bit more, it's not even age appropriate either. Not slutty, we'll go with that. A little not slutty. You guys know what I'm talking about, I'm sure. But you know, I wanted to look nice, but not, you know, I'm working the corner today, you know what I mean? No, don't want to do that. That's not good. Don't do that, girls. That's not a good look. Mm -mm. You're getting the wrong kind of attention when you do that. 
So anyway, we're gonna go out and get coffee. We probably won't even get out of the car. We're probably gonna just go through the drive-thru because that's how we roll here. I don't know guys, but anyway, I will talk to you soon and tomorrow is gonna be a very big video, very big. I'm very excited to share that with you. I don't know if I'll blog about it later or not. We will see, but when this event happens, I will be taking video footage of it. So I'm very excited to share that with you guys. So I will talk to you all soon. Love you guys. Bye.